Good morning or good afternoon, Tigers. Today we will be watching a video on Quizette 709. As always, please make sure that you write your last name, comma, first name on your Quizette. Make sure you write the correct day. Today is the second. And today I'll be green class, so make sure you circle the right color of your class. Number one says, decide and explain whether the table shows a proportional relationship between X and Y or not. So the first thing that I want you guys to keep in mind is that one of our key terms is proportional relationship. And the question is asking you to do two things. The question is asking you to decide and explain whether the table shows a proportional relationship between X and Y or not. So if it doesn't show a proportional relationship, you have to explain why it doesn't. And if it does, you have to also explain why it does make a proportional relationship. Now, you guys haven't learned about proportional relationships. This is the first time you see this. We will be taking math notes today on it, and we will continue our math notes tomorrow. The important thing to note when you have a table is that the ratio is always expressed as y to x. So intuitively, I think you would want to write x to y, but when you're reading a table, you read it from y to x. So for instance, our first ratio is not 2 to 4. Our first ratio is actually written as 4 to 2. And then you can simplify that. How many times does 2 go into 4? 2 times. You could even put a 1 under it. Now let's look at our second ratio. Our second ratio would be 16 to 4. How many times does 4 go into 16? 4. And you can write that 1 on the bottom or as a denominator. So first, right off the bat, I can tell you that this table is not proportional because these two are not equal to each other. And for something to have a proportional relationship, they all have to have the same equivalent ratio. So when you reduce all the ratios, they have to be equal to the same number. If this was a proportional relationship, you would have to have 2 over 1 for each of the ratios. Now let's move on. So our next ratio would be 49 to 7. 7 goes into 49 7 times over 1. Again, this is not equal. These are not equal to each other. They're not equal. Now our last one is 100 over 10 and that's equal to 10 over 1, and it's not equal to each other. So since none of these are equal, the table is not proportional. Now you're going to write in a sentence what I just explained. So I went ahead and typed it up for you. You might want to pause this uh, and put it somewhere where you can actually read it. I'm going to put it right here, but this is for number 1. It says, a relationship is proportional if it can be described with equivalent ratios. As I showed you already, these ratios are not equivalent. Uh, since these ratios are not equivalent or not equal, the table is not proportional. Here I used SMP3. I constructed a viable argument. You could use another SMP, but I prefer SMP3 for this. Moving on to number two. All right, number two says, this table shows how the cost of Aaron's birthday party depends on the number of guests. Then it gives you the table and it says, what is the cost per guest? So remember, when you're writing the ratios of a table, it's always in terms of y to x. So our first ratio would be 12 to 3 guests. And our second ratio would be $16 for 4 guests. Now, let's try to find the unit rate. How many times does 3 go into 12? $4. What this represents here is for every single guest, it's $4. Now let's check our second ratio. 4 goes into 16 4 times as well. And it has that denominator of 1. So what this is telling you is the cost per guest is $4. And here you could say it's SMP2 because you're reasoning um, abstractly, you're reading a table, you're translating it into math, and after you represent it with fractions, you're translating the information back to adapt to the table. Finally, our last question, it says, Mackie's graduation picnic will cost $9 if it has three attendees. Alternately, if the picnic has five attendees, it will cost $15. What is the cost per attendee? Now, the very first thing you should always do is annotate. So let's see, it's graduation. It costs $9 if there are three people that attend. Um, if the picnic has five people that attend, it will cost $15. What is the cost per attendee? So since it's asking a question uh, in a complete sentence, you will also answer in a complete sentence, and you annotate. So our first ratio is $9 to 
to three guests. And our second ratio is $15 to five people. Now let's compute the unit rate. How many times does three go into nine? Three times, so $3 for every one guest. Now let's look at the second one. Five goes into 15, three times. The price is on the numerator, so that's the cost. And the one represents attendees. So you would write in a sentence, the cost per attendee is $3, period. And then here you could say it's SMP2, you could say it's SMP1, you're persevering because it's going to get progressively more difficult. Um, be creative. As long as you can defend your SMP, I will accept it when we're grading. All right, Tigers, I hope you have a good day. Thank you.